hi there once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to create about us page using html and then css so this is what we're going to do we're going to create something just like this and then this can be used on your main web page so let's jump into action and see how to create this now i'm using my favorite code editor i'm using the vlc code editor and this is my css file and then this is my html file as well so i'm going to walk you through how to do this now what i'm going to do is that i have this files well organized on my desktop this is what i use for my example and then i'm going to start a new project and then in this folder i only have what's my image i'm going to use this image for this project okay so what i'm going to do is i need to open this new folder within my code editor so i'll go to file and go to open folder and then i'm going to select this new file about me okay so this is a new file i've opened i only have my image so i need to get my main page so i need to go and create my index page so this is going to be index.html and then let's create additional folder and call it css i like organizing my file so within this folder i'll create a new file called style.css so these are the files i'm actually going to work with so go to our html page and then let me zoom in on this a bit so that you see exactly what i'm doing okay so we're going to generate the html templates like this and then let me just give a title to this project let's just call it about me okay so this is just going to be the title and then let's try and then open this in the browser whilst we work on this so i'm going to just click on this remember this is the final project and then this is what we are doing we have not yet started anything so let's jump into action and see this new project this is about us but i'm going to do this about me so i'll go ahead once this is generated i'm going to create a section for about me so that's what i'm going to do so let me say section dot let's say about so that's what i'm going to do and hit the tab key so within this section i'm going to create my main project so i'll create a div dot let's say main and then within this div i'm going to organize my files into this so the first file i'm going to enter here is going to be my image remember we have this in image slash what about so i have two images within that and i'm going to use the adjective.jpg and i'm actually not going to add any alternative here and then let me save this and then let's try reload in this in our browser so i'll go to the browser and then reload this and at the moment we have just the image we've embedded the image just as we have over here i want to use css to format everything so let's continue with our project now after the image what we're going to do is that we're going to create another div and call it our main text so let's say div dot what main dash let's say text okay so let's do something like this and then that's going to be our text and within our text we're going to have a main header that's h1 header so let's say about me and then below that we'll have under let's say h5 header over there and let's say web developer let's say and graphic designer okay so let's do something like this and then go ahead and then save this go back and then reload this in our browser but now it's going to be down here let's proceed from here we'll do formatting to this using css so now we're going to generate our paragraph text so p generate our paragraph text and i just want to generate some random text for this project remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials i'm going to generate some lorem text so i want to generate about 50 or let me say 60 so just hit the tab and it's going to give you some sample text like this let me just break this that i have it well visible within my screen so something like this is okay now below this below the paragraph we're going to add a button to that okay below this paragraph let's add a button here so within this button let's say read more 
okay so that is it Ooh, we are done with the HTML part of this project so let's go back and then just reload this in our browser at the moment we have this down here we have not done any CSS so this may not look nice at the moment but we're going to start formatting this and this is going to look amazing so let's go and start writing our CSS before this CSS is going to work we need to link our CSS file within the header so go down here and say link and then let's say CSS and then we have this in the CSS folder so make sure you place this within your CSS folder like this there we go so now we have our CSS and then we can start writing our CSS code so what I'm going to do is first select everything within my browser and then let me say I'll set my pattern to zero I'll set my pattern to zero my margin to zero as well and this way we can define the font I want to use for everything I have on my screen so I'm going to say box sizing I'm just trying to reset everything I'll set it to a border box okay and then let me say I want to use a font family so I'm just going to use a font family and then I prefer using sans serif so I'm going to say area vertical and then sans serif so this is the font I want to use and I want to use a background color a gray background color and I can also set this over here so I can say background color and gray will be dd okay so let me save this and then let's open this within our browser you can see at the moment we should be having a, a gray background this may not be too visible but as we proceed we should be seeing that okay so now we're going to proceed from here and then we actually going to target the main part of this which is the about so we just go down there and then this is a class so make sure you use the dot class and then what we're going to do is that we're going to set the weight to 100 percent let me just delete this the auto completion and then we're just going to assign a pattern to this now for our pattern we're going to say 40 pieces top bottom and the left and right is going to be actually what zero this way i'm trying to go save this and then go ahead and reload this okay you can see everything is reflecting at the moment i've changed the font and you can see it's actually reflecting over here now i want to actually reduce the size of my image so my image is quite huge so i'll go ahead and then just target my image and then i have only one image so i can just call it direct and then set the weight to i'll set the width of my image to around 350 pixels okay and then we'll go ahead and set the height of this image i'll set it to auto i don't want it to shrink so let me just leave the height as what auto for now okay and what i'm going to do is i want to set the radius if you check my final project over here you can see the edges of this image is rounded so that is what i want to do today so i need to set a radius i'm going to say border radius let me say 35 pixels i'm going to set 35 pixels for this and then let's save this and then reload this in our browser okay so you can see how this image is looking at the moment everything is on point let's continue formatting this and this should be taking a shape and this will actually take shape very soon now we formatted so we are done formatting the image now let's target the about as text so we're going to target this section we're going to target this section before that we can also target the main text and then work on that okay we can target the main text once we are done then we target the about about our text okay but let's format the main text first and then we we'll go to the about our text and then we format that yeah. so we're going to target the main over here this is the main text so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to say it's a class so make sure we target that we call that as it is so it's going to be main and i want to set the width to i want to set the width to something around one thousand and twenty pixels set the width to thousand and twenty pixels and i'm also going to give a maximum weight 
of 95 percent okay that you can cover this can cover greater part of my screen so this is going to be 95 percent and then we'll go ahead and also give a display of flex so let's display this as flex like i said i'll be doing videos on flex boxes very soon so like subscribe for such videos so we display this as flex and also add some padding i'm also going to add a padding of let's say 20 i'm going to add a pattern of let's say 25 pixels to this and then i'm also going to go ahead and then give a margin with my margin what i'm going to do is that my margin is going to be zero and then top bottom and then the right left is going to be what actually all two that's going to be let's load this let's load this and see what we've done so far okay so you can see now everything is well aligned we're actually going to add some few space into this and then we are good to go now we have everything set up up to this stage now let's continue and add some few formatting to this after the margin what we're going to do is we're going to align the items to center so let's say align items let's say center and also we're going to say justify content let's say space around it so let's say justify content we are actually going to say i'm just going to delete extra text over the auto completion say space around okay so we're going to use the space around so let's say that is okay for the main content and then we're going to target other content within the main one so you can see everything is well aligned over here and we're going to target that about our text and then we'll format that we're going to target about our text so we can just do that here remember we have the image and then the, uh, the main text over here within what our main so let's target the main text here and then we we'll format it it's also a class so you have to say dot main text target the dot main text the main text what we're going to do is that we're going to give it a width we're going to give it a width of let's say 550 pills and then we'll format the text within we're going to format the text within we're going to target the h1 text within that so that's going to be main text h1 and then what we're going to do is that we're going to give a font size the font size is going to be so we're going to have a font size of 18 and then we'll go ahead and also give text transformation so let's say text transform text transform we're going to say capitalize okay we're going to give a text transformation of capitalize and we'll go ahead and also give a margin button so let's give a margin button to this text so margin bottom some space below so margin bottom let's say we want to give some space of 20 pixels now let's save this okay i need to close this actually so make sure everything is well set we'll save this and then go this and load this in the browser okay so you can see now we have amazing space around this and this is actually taking space we're going to format everything so like subscribe for more and then follow the steps i'm really going to show you now after the main text each one let's also target the main text so we can actually copy the same thing over here actually copy the same thing and paste it down and then instead of h1 we can change this to h4 remember the main text over here we gave it h5 right so let's make sure we change this to h5 and then we actually going to give a font size of let's say 30 font size of let's say 30 so i'm actually going to get font size of 30 and this is quite small so i want my text to be very big so let me put this on a 60 and then let me save this let's save this then let's go back and then reload it we should have this one bigger now and then the other one follow in the order so we are going to give some letter spacing to our main paragraph 
and then we can actually format this by applying a span to this so we we'll go to our main text here we'll go to our main text let's go back here and let's add a span over here I'm gonna put this let's cut this and put this within the span and then we'll format this within our css so span we have only one span here so i'm just going to target that and then i'm going to give it a color I'm just going to give this a color of crimson so this is a color i'm going to give to that i'm going to give a color of crimson if you want to give this a different font you can actually do that can easily give this one a different color but i'm just going to stick to that so this is what i want to do and then i want to target the main content that's my paragraph okay so i want to target the main paragraph now and then i can go ahead and then format that so that's what we're going to do next like subscribe for more and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial now we're going to say we're going to say the main so that's going to be a paragraph so main that's text and that is going to be p so we are targeting the paragraph text now and that is what we're going to format so well, let's first give it a font size the font size we're going to give to this is going to be just 18. okay let me leave it as 20 and then we'll give it a letter spacing we'll give it a letter spacing of just one pixels okay and we also going to give a line height to this about 30 pixels so let's say yeah. line height of 30 pixels like this and finally going to give a margin bottom as well margin bottom the margin bottom i'm going to assign to this is going to be around 15 pixels okay so save this save this and then reload this and see how amazing this is looking and then we can proceed from here now we are just left with our button so we're just going to format our button and that will be the final part of this project like subscribe if you enjoy what i do turn on post notification and also comment at the comment section of this video tutorial before that if you look at the final video i just put a line just below my h5 header so if you want to do that you can equally do that here you can easily go to your main this and then just put hr over here that's horizontal rule so if i do this i can actually do this it should be okay so if i save this and i go back to reload this i should be seeing the line just below this now finally let's format the button down here we're going to format our button our button is not a class so we just call it straight so there's going to be button for this button sorry this is just going to be button and for our button we're going to say text decoration we're actually going to set text decoration to none first and i'm actually going to give a font weight i want the font to be very bold so i'm going to say font weight sorry i say font width and i'm going to say bold this should be bold and i'm actually also going to give a background color i'm going to give a background color of this background color i'm going to use the same cream safe for this and we're also going to give padding so padding will be the best for this we'll give the pattern of 15 pixels top bottom and then let's say we give 20 to the left and right one such I want to be big or let's even do it 30 our button will appear a bit longer okay so let me just save this and then let's reload this within our browser so you can see how amazing this is looking at the moment now what i'm going to do next is to go ahead and format this add more adjustment to this so i'm also give a border radius so border radius and this border radius i'm actually going to give 15 and i don't want a border running so it's going to be border should be none so the dark border we have around this the black line we have around this we'll remove it and see we don't have this okay so i'm going to 
So I'm actually going to add a transition to this. But before that, before the transition, I'm going to give a Kessa. Anytime I move my Kessa there, it should be showing as what pointed. So Kessa pointed. And we also add some few transition to this. Transition of two seconds. So transition. I'm going to say transition two seconds to this. And let's see how this is going to look. So we have added the radius to this and then finally we're going to add a transition. But before that, my H1, the paragraph text, I'm going to reduce it to 18. It appears to be too big. So I'll just reduce this to 18. And then what I'm going to do is that I'll just copy the same pattern effects, paste it down here and then make it as hover effect. So just add some hover effect to this. Add some hover effect. And now with this over, I'm actually not going to use the same cream C. I'm actually going to format this color a bit. And some other features I'll remove it. I don't want the transition here. Every other thing I want to leave them as they are at the moment. Save this and then we'll go back and then reload this. And then you can see once I move my cursor, you can see the transition for the button. Even after the transition, the hover effect, we can decide to add bottom none here we can decide to remove it after the transition so i'm going to save this and reload this if i move this and see the transition went through successfully so this is how to create to create an about house page using atm and then css i'll be doing more programming development and other amazing coding techniques right here on this channel Remember to always subscribe for more of my videos. Bye-bye.